bunch of labels. Hello friends, this is Hedda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Basically, over the last month or so, I've just been filming a little bit here and there. I thought I'd put it together as a little studio vlog. There is a little bit of a lot of things in this video, but mainly I wanted to kind of start the year off in a good way and, you know, work on my productivity, organization, just, you know, feel like I started off the year in a good way. <laughs> So I hope that this video will reflect that. Obviously not everything goes according to plan um, and that's just how it is and you'll be seeing that in this video as well. And speaking about starting the year off right and working on my productivity, I want to give a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes on anything creative that you could imagine. Anything from productivity to videography, photography, pretty much anything creative. I've been learning so much through Skillshare classes, but sometimes when you want to dive into something new that you don't know much about already, it's hard to know where to start. And now Skillshare has what they call learning paths, which are classes that are curated by Skillshare to give you the best possible introduction to a topic and kind of create this path that you can follow along as your skills improve and as your knowledge grows. The learning paths also use classes from various different teachers, so you get a diverse approach to the categories that you're interested in. Depending on where you are in your life, whether you do art as a hobby, or you are someone who has a creative side hustle or a creative full-time job, there are lots of different learning paths to choose from. One that I found spoke most to me is one called Master Procreate Professional Techniques. I chose to go through this learning path because I use Procreate almost every day for my creative business. As you know, I have a shop where I sell stickers, washi tape, stuff like that. And although I use Procreate a lot, I am by no means an expert. I would say that there are lots of things about Procreate that I still don't know and it's important to keep learning and keep developing your skills. And if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then the first 500 people to click the link down in the description box will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now let's go back a few weeks. I'll take you along to some of the things that I've been up to lately. August I moved into this apartment and for the first time in a couple of years I had all of my stationery available to me. I've had stuff in storage, I've had stuff with me, not with me, I just haven't you know seen it all in one place in a while but since August I've had it all and there's there's a lot. I have a lot of stationery. I have a whole drawer full of stamps. I have two whole drawers full of washi tapes. I haven't counted them, but I'm gonna 
say an estimate of maybe 300 washi tapes I don't know it's it's a lot and it's come to the point where I can't add anything more into these drawers because there isn't enough space and I keep accumulating stuff so one solution is to just not get any new stuff that is not very realistic considering that I do get like PR packages from stationery companies and other brands and you know sometimes you see something that you're like oh I have to have this but I decided to maybe organize this little drawer unit a little bit maybe get rid of some of the stuff that I am not using or that I haven't used in a really long time Sometimes when I get a whole set of washi tapes, for example, I don't like or use like every single washi tape in the set. There is this thing in me that tells me to keep all of the sets together, it will look nicer. But then this other part of me is saying like, what's the point in keeping all of those tapes that I'm not using? And I, I should just, you know, dissect these sets and just get rid of the tapes that I'm not using or that I don't see myself using and then maybe someone else can make use of those washi tapes or I'll put them away and bring them out at a later time but I don't need all of them in here like out in the open like this this is a huge job and I'm, I'm not done yet I just kind of went through the stamps and the washi tapes and kind of took out ones that I am not using or I don't see myself using. The ones that aren't like my favorites or maybe aren't as versatile. And I've put them all somewhere else. Like I put them all in a box in storage. And my idea was to maybe do a little de-stash thing where people can kind of pay for postage and get some cheap stationery. But that is also a really big job, like organizing all of that. And so I put that out of my mind for a little bit and just just focused on the removing part like removing some of the stuff from this drawer section and keeping the ones that I love and use often so that's what I did and this this is something that I did over the holidays around New Year's because I just felt motivated to do it at this point. I did take some time off over the holidays and so little projects like this are the things that I don't normally take the time to do in my daily life but it felt doable <laughs> at this point. This drawer that you see here is filled with only notebook therapy washi tapes. I don't have every set of theirs but I have very many of them and they just keep making beautiful washi tape sets and I keep getting them because they're so pretty and I want to use them and I I have a problem for sure I, I, I know that I acknowledge that but also this is my biggest hobby and also kind of my job so um, it's okay right am I the only one with this much washi tape I hope not in the end, I was a little bit disappointed in myself that I didn't get rid of more than I did. I mean, I felt like I got rid of a lot and, and I did, but just not as much as I thought. But my goal was that at least everything should be visible when I open the drawers because this drawer unit from Ikea is a little bit misleading because although the drawers are really deep, you can't actually open them all the way. So you can't pull them out all the way. And that means that the stuff that is like in the back of the drawer, you can't actually get to that or see it if the rest of it is full. So I just wanted everything that I have to be visible without having to like rummage around in the back. And I suppose I kind of succeeded in that. I don't think I'm the only one who towards the end of the year tend to think about the new year and all the things I'm gonna do, how amazing it's gonna be. I did that this year as well. Like I was gonna do so much stuff in January. I was this is this was the month where things would really pick up because 
I wouldn't say that I was slacking towards the end of 2023 because I really wasn't. I was just really behind on everything because of the advent calendar. I know I've talked about this so many times now, but I learned so much from that process so that it won't be as intense for 2024. You know, I, I, I learned a lot, but I was behind on a lot of stuff and thought January will really be the month where I kind of pick up the pace and like make a lot of YouTube videos, kind of build up this library of videos and so that I'll have something to post even if one week suddenly I can't film or or can't edit a video or something for some reason. And you know, the thought was really good and it would have worked had it not been for the fact that that disruptive event happened the third day of January. <laughs> I didn't have time to build up that library um, before my grandma passed away and that really disrupted my flow naturally. So January 1st is a, a holiday here. It's probably the holiest of all the holidays here. <clears throat> probably the quietest day in Norway ever. January 2nd, I was ready to get to work. I had a lot of orders to pack. This is some of them that I packed. I just haven't sent them yet because I'm still waiting for the postal service to send me the stamps that I ordered. There was a lot to do and a lot to catch up on. And then the morning of January 3rd, my dad called and said my grandma had passed. And it's been pretty much exactly two years since my maternal grandma passed. And now my paternal grandma passed two years later. She was almost 96 years old. It was her time for sure. She was she was ready, but I wasn't quite ready. You know, I, I don't think that you're ever ready for family members to pass. And I took a little break from social media. I didn't really post on Instagram because it just didn't feel like I did I didn't feel good and I didn't really want to deal with social media and then I posted a little story a couple of days later just telling everyone what's up and this is why I'm not active and I got so many really nice messages and everyone was really understanding which I knew that you guys would be because you're really nice people the bullet journaling community is a really kind and reasonable one I would say <laughs> but I haven't been able to deal with uh, replying to to all the messages I've never gotten this many messages <laughs> ever I think on Instagram but that's besides the point that is unimportant I have been toying with the idea of this video that you're watching right now for a while started kind of thinking about it in December although at this point in time when I'm filming this it is still not a fully fledged video and I'm just kind of filming a few small things here and there I don't really know where it's gonna end up but I just wanted to let you know what's up because this is a major event in my life and you know I this week has been pretty bad <laughs> At least this time I was here when it happened. When my maternal grandma passed, I, I was abroad and I didn't get to really say goodbye and I had to just fly back for the funeral, which was something that I didn't think I would have to do, <laughs> get on a plane to go to a funeral. But this time I was here and I was able to go with my dad to see my grandma and say goodbye anyway um I didn't really want to talk about this in any of my other videos because I don't want the videos to be about this you know I don't want all the comments to be condolences and I don't want it to be sad because my content is not sad and I want this to be like an uplifting space but sad things do happen and it is a part of life and I don't have any grandparents anymore <laughs> and I this is something that everyone goes through it is not 
special, but it's still pretty hard. And so I'm trying to keep up with my work while also being kind to myself and everyone grieves in their own way and for me it's important to like stay busy and not be idle. Thank you for all the well wishes. I really appreciate it. A lot of people are telling me to, you know, take all of the time that I need and and I am and it may seem like I am doing the same amount of work but I'm not really or at least like I'm doing things but I'm I'm not rushing anything and things will take the time that it takes and that's okay and I can start building that library of videos a little bit later and it doesn't all have to happen right now um it's easy to say that oh but it's it's just youtube videos it's not that important but this is my life and my livelihood so it's not really that simple but then again also it's it's just a job and what's most important is the people in your life so yeah it's not the best way to start the new year but it is what it is I have just been picking up some packages from the post office. Got the new Patreon thank you cards today as well as postal stamps. So that's good, really needed that. I was supposed to have a package, a wholesale order picked up today by UPS, but 
of course, I stay home all day and then I go out for 20 minutes to go pick up these packages and drop off orders and then that's when he showed up and he was really upset that I wasn't at home so I don't know just got inside I wanted to show you the new thank you cards but first here are the old ones oh here are the old ones um, so these were for 2023 and they say 2023 down here so that's why I needed to get new ones and in 2022 I had a different design so I thought it would be fun to change it up for 2024 as well the new cards are a little bit different so here they are so as you can see oh, as you can see the color is a little bit different this one is definitely paler um it only has charles and charles's twin um here instead of all the dinosaurs i thought that this would make more sense because it is the charles and twin charles tier on my patreon the back is pretty similar it's got a slightly oh it's got mm, there we go it's got a slightly different font um, but the biggest difference really is the cards themselves. I seem to have ordered a different type of paper from last time or my manufacturer has changed their paper. Um, I'm not 100% sure because I was, I thought I ordered the same type, but the old ones are a little bit thicker and stiffer, more like cardstock, while these new ones are a little bit flimsier. They're, they're also like a little bit smoother, where the old ones are more textured. I wanted texture though, so I'm not 100% happy with them. I think it is a little bit weird that the color of the paper is so different, but it is what it is. <laughs> I have these now. I ordered a bunch, not enough for the entire year, but for around half the year. And I also have new um, packaging stickers for all of the Patreon Happy Mail. But those are currently being printed, so I don't have them yet. But I'll show you once they come in. But yeah, that's what I picked up today. Just a bunch of thank you cards. So now I can finally start writing everyone's names and get the Patreon Happy Mail out for January. A shop update today it is time to put up all of the leftovers that I have from the advent calendars 
It's not that much stock. It's actually very, very limited. I've made all the listings already. I've gotten a newsletter ready to go. Um, all I really need to do is to post on Instagram once it goes live and also, of course, um, set all the products to active and hopefully everything will be correct. <laughs> There's no shop update without a little bump in the road, so um, we'll see how it goes. There isn't that much exciting to show you right as I set all the products to active, but I wanted to kind of take you through what happens when I do a shop update. So what I haven't done and is clean my desk. I haven't cleaned my desk. I really should have. Um, it is 10 minutes. Um, we have three washi tapes. There is a green plaid. There is a dinosaur washi tape and there is a winter forest washi tape with silver details. I really like this one. Um, these I have about nine of each. <laughs> I have notepads. There's this one with dinosaurs and then there's this one with a dragon. I'm sending these in the plastic that my manufacturer uh, packaged them in just because I don't have a better alternative for that right now. I'm also wondering if I should make larger notepads next time I make notepads, we'll see. This was the first notepads that I ever made. And then I have some postcards. I have this dragon girl postcard, which is the same dragon as on this vinyl sticker. So as you can see, the colors are a little bit different, but that's just kind of what happens when there's like different, different printers. This vinyl sticker is matte, but it is see-through. So there is like a tiny, uh, like the tiniest white line around everything. But because it is see-through, there will be gaps in between um, the string and the dragon and everything. So it's not a white, it's not a solid white background when you uh, like peel off the back. Then we have another postcard. This one is with the dinosaurs. This one actually says Merry Christmas here. Um, this was part of the Christmas dinosaurs. I'm not expecting these to sell out and that's okay. They are Christmas themed, so I know it's, you know, a little bit different. Then I we have this vinyl sticker, which is another dragon one, the Mochitone. This one is glossy with mirror details. So you can see that it shines really prettily in the, in the light. Then we have a Walter enamel pin. This is one of the few things from the advent calendar that I'm keeping in the store as like a regular part of the stock just because Walter is the main mascot kind of so it would be weird not to not to have this guy here. We also have this enamel pin which is the ghost cat. I really like this one. I think it's really cute and it has my favorite colors pink and yellow here. Um, both of them have one clasp in the back and they're really easy to remove. So, yeah. Okay, we are like two minutes away. So, I need to set all of this, these as active and then I need to post on Instagram. So, I'll do that now. Did it. Okay, now to post to Instagram. Uh, okay, so it went up. It is now 3.03. .03. I posted to Instagram. Um, and we have four orders within the first three minutes. So that's crazy. Thank you so much. I'm really curious to see which of the products sell out first. Because some of them I have very few of. Like the pins, I have like seven of each. Well, I had eight, but I wanted to keep one for myself. Um, another order just came in. <laughs> um, for the notepads, I also have like seven of each. The stickers, I have between 10 and like 25 of each, roughly. Uh, the postcards I have more of, I think I have like 40 of them or something like that. Um, the stickers, I'm very happy with um, especially this one with the dragons 
so now that the shop update is there now i start packing orders pretty much right away <laughs>
in the middle of cleaning everything because we have a friend of Jordan coming to stay with us tomorrow. He was supposed to come the day after tomorrow, but there was a change of plans. So he's coming tomorrow. So now I have to do everything today. Today is like my logistics day. There is so much stuff that arrived today. These type of boxes, I ordered a few of each to see which one would work the best. Also, my new padded envelopes that are made from paper. They're all paper. Everything is recyclable, which is great. Um, got them in two different sizes. So all of that was coming in today. UPS came to pick up the wholesale order, so that was great. The last two things I was waiting for was DHL that would deliver my new stickers and also Wood, which are delivering my envelopes for my Patreon Happy Mail. Still waiting for Postnewood, it's not a surprise, but package that was coming with DHL arrived. So let's open it. This package is like not that exciting for me. <laughs> it is mostly the um, Patreon Happy Mail. I mean, of course. Patreon Happy Mail is always exciting, but normally I would order like more sticker designs, but I haven't been able to design anything new. So, ooh, there we go. Always so much trash to deal with when getting big packages like this. There's mostly the Patreon Happy Mail in here. So that will be these sticker sheets. I also made a bonus sticker sheet because this design right here ooh, is what I chose for the vinyl sticker. So all the patrons will get like one bonus sticker sheet. It also has February and March on there. The colors are a little bit different than what I had imagined, but that's, you know, always the way it is with the... Uh, when you like print your designs. Another fun thing is new freebie sticker sheets. So I've been, actually ran out of the ones with the frog on them today. So it was definitely time for some new ones. These are, they should be the same size, but they seem a little bit smaller. Let's see, let's compare them. Yeah, they're definitely a little bit slimmer and the corners are rounded a little bit differently. So I'm not sure what happened there, but you can see like the old ones and the new one. The paper seems to be the same though. I think this one actually just got cut a little bit too close to the design and that's why there's a difference. It'll be okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, I anticipate stuff like this and now for the rest of this package, a bunch of labels. I wanted to try something a little bit differently for Patreon this year. 
So instead of having the same packaging sticker for every month, whoop, I have actually labels that say the month. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Oh, let's see. So for example, on these, these are the label stickers. And then you can see that they will wrap around the top and then they will kind of look like that and they'll say January 2024. I didn't make for the entire year all at once because this is already hefty enough. Like storing this is just um, a nuisance. <laughs> so I got for January through June and then I'll have to order new ones in June. So there's that and then I also got labels for grab bags because the grab bags have always been very popular and it turns out that I racked up quite a few reject stickers. So what that means is that these are sticker sheets that have like minor defects. So maybe there is like an ink mark from the printer or there's like a scuff mark or the corner is a little bit bent or something like that. Um, and then I don't feel comfortable selling those sticker sheets at full price, even though like all the stickers are usable, they're just not perfect. So I've had grab bags in the past. The last time I did it was in the summer in July, I think, if I remember correctly. And now it's time for a new round. I just need to clear some space because uh, all of those sticker sheets really take up space. So there will be stickers in these that have stickers that are sold out. So that might be interesting for some of you guys. There will be a lot of dragon stickers because there was a huge problem with the like dragon year of the dragon stickers that I ordered the first time around um, for the advent calendar. So a lot of those had to be rejected and I had to print more. I'm excited to put these together sometime soon. I wanted to release these together with the shop update that I did a couple of days ago, but um, clearly, you know, these didn't arrive in time. And also uh, the, it was it was enough with everything else that I had. I still have to ship all of these that are in here. I need to put the shipping labels on all of these envelopes and bring them to the post office, but I'll do that tomorrow, which is a Friday, last chance before the weekend. Didn't make it today before four o'clock, so tomorrow it is. <laughs> It is quite different size notebook with notebook which it is quite different in size notebook which so making my making making my 
So making my usual layouts work in this notebook is a little bit difficult and I'm experimenting a lot. like. Trying but most of the decoration on this spread is actually stickers from that pet tape I mentioned earlier, the Hinoki one from Notebook Therapy. The sticker part is really difficult with press-on nails. be covered by writing anyway so it'll be fine. fine basically i made a little collage at the bottom of this left i have to measure or anything i just start from the middle of the word and then i build outwards in both directions so then i can just look at the word that i've written down so that i know that i'm doing it right that i'm putting the letters in the right order <laughs> That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched it all the way to the end, be sure to put a snowflake emoji in your comment to let me know. Thank you to all of my patrons for supporting me every month. I really appreciate it. And with that, all that's left to say is I hope that you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!